Now I want to talk about how you can change characters that are surrounding text. And to do this, I'm using an extension called mvim-surround. Let's just say I wanted to wrap this word in parentheses. I can use the Y key to surround. So I can do Y and then I need to use S for surround and then IW to select the word. And then I could use parentheses here to wrap it in parentheses. Notice that it adds some spaces as well. If you don't want that, then undo that. YSIW again, use the closing parenthesis in that case, and it won't add the spaces. Or in other cases, if I want quotes, I can do YSIW and then double quotes, or I could do YSIW and single quotes. And now if I wanna surround this with something else, I could do YSIW, that's the inner word. So if I do S here, it actually puts those inside of the quotes. If I wanted those outside of the quotes, I'd need to do YSI capital W, that is a motion that allows you to select the quotes as well, basically all non-blank characters. And I could do S here and that'd be outside then. So YS, which is supposed to be short for use around, which I don't feel like that's very helpful. If you want to delete something surrounding text, you can do D and S and then just whatever you wanna delete. So single quote here, or if you don't wanna delete it, but you wanna change it, you can use CS for change surrounding and then put in what you wanna change. So that'd be the single quote here. And what do you want to replace it with then? And that would be the double quote. Or I could do CS and double quote, and now I could put parentheses in instead. So CS is to change surrounding, DS is to delete surrounding, and then YS is to add surrounding. And another option you have here, let's just say I'm sitting in insert mode up above here. Let's say I'm typing out a function. So I've got func here, I might call it foo. And at this point in time, I want to have some parentheses for the arguments for the function. Of course, I could type those in and I could arrow back over. Or in insert mode, you can do control G, S, and parentheses. That'll add in the parentheses as well as the spaces in that case. And now you've got your cursor inside where you can add your arguments. And of course, when it comes to the end of a line, if you want to start up the function body here, this time do control G, capital S, and then curly braces. And then I'll add the curly braces above and below and put your cursor in between. And so now let's remove those curly braces. Let's say I'm on a line below here and I'm sitting inside of actually normal mode. So let's just say maybe I have a body here and I forgot the curly braces. So in this case, if I wanted to surround this with curly braces inside of normal mode here, I can do Y and then SS, just like many other commands when you wanna target the entire line. And you can see it's selected there. You can actually preview your selection. And now I can use the curly braces to add curly braces around that. Or, Let's say I don't want them on the same line, so I can undo that. I can do Y capital S twice, and now I can do curly braces, and you can see it adds one above and one below. And then maybe one more thing that might be helpful here. Let's just say you're writing some HTML code. Let's just say you're writing some HTML here. You've got some text. You wanna wrap it in tags here. If I do Y, S, S, and then I do T, that's actually for an HTML tag. You can see down below, it's asking me for the tag. So I could put in P here for a paragraph tag. You can see it surrounds that then. Or if I undo that, if I wanted to have the paragraph above and below, of course I do Y capital S twice, T, and then I put in P for the tag. Maybe I put in P foo, whatever. You can see it puts it above and below. And of course, if you wanna change the tag, now it's just C, S, and then T. You can see it selects the tag there. And then I can put in bar here. And there you go, it replaces it. Right, so I think that's enough for now. If you want to see the extension I'm using here, this is the repo right here. Add this to your configuration. There are a lot of other options for adding in surrounding characters. The combination of characters to make changes or add or delete, they might differ between plugins. That said, some of the basics for YS, CS, and DS, I've seen those common between several different plugins.